Is regarding a Shagwa resigning or is he waiting to be impeached? That's a question I know most Kenyans are asking because in the event Rigadi is impeached, he will be blocked from contesting in the next election. So will he wait to be impeached or will he resign in order for him to fight another day? Regarding this ally James Gakuya, a Makasi North Member of Parliament, today dropped a bombshell, which I want us to have a look at here, for the remarks are going to inform the basis of our analysis. Before we have a look at the remarks, let me say this. Regardi is reluctant to resign because he expects that between now and Tuesday, things can change. A miracle can happen from somewhere and he can defeat the impeachment motion. That's why he's still reluctant to resign. He is also reluctant to resign because he still thinks William Ruto is joking. He can't just imagine having supported William Ruto in 2022 the way he did, having attacked the opposition and opposition supporters upon Kenya Kwanzaa forming government. Rigadi cannot just believe that having done all that, William Ruto can okay his impeachment. So Rigadi is still living in denial. He has not yet accepted that he's being impeached. That's why he's still reluctant to resign. But let me tell Rigadi that the die is cast. The die is cast and he's going to be impeached. So it's either he resigns or he waits to be impeached. And James Gakwe, Rigadi's ally, is giving us some insights on to what we should expect before Tuesday. Because we know that on Tuesday, Rigadi will appear before the National Assembly where he will be given two hours to defend himself. After that, most probably, a vote will be taken to impeach him or not. Let's have a look at James Gakuya. There is nothing we expect from the National Assembly whether DP Gashagwa appears or not. The die is already cast. Most of the members who have signed did not even have room to read the charges fronted because it was a political move with political pressure. James Gakuya, 2nd October 2024. That's a very close regarding the Shagwa's ally. This MP has seriously been defending regarding the Shagwa and is among the members of parliament who DCI preferred some charges against them for funding some GNZ protests. So this is a person very close to regard the Gashagwa. In a layman's language, it's just trying to say that they may appear on Tuesday before the National Assembly or not. I'm just trying to put it in a layman's language. They may appear on Tuesday or not. And that only means that Rigadi Gashagwa's team has already surrendered. They have now started seeing that this thing is real. It's not a joke. It's not child's play. A decision has been made to impeach Rigadi Gashagwa. That's what I can make of these sentiments. I want us to dig deep into all this for Kenyans to understand what's happening here and the political meaning and implications. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Let's proceed. 
Before Tuesday, we might see Rigathi Gashagwa resigning. Unless he's clearly out of touch with what is happening in the National Assembly, in the Senate, and in the courts. Just as I did explain in my earlier video, before William Ruto and his team initiated this impeachment motion, they laid out an elaborate strategy. And this strategy brings together the National Assembly, the Senate, and even the judiciary. And that's why all the petitions that sought to block the impeachment were all rejected. So regardless, should know that this is not just an issue that has just originated with a few people. There is a wider plot here, and the plot is to have him kicked out. So at the end of the day, he'll end up being impeached, he'll move to the courts, and the courts will also reject him. And should that happen, then Rigadi will die politically earlier than we expected. For him to fight another day, there is no sin or no problem in resigning. If he resigns today, he can live to fight another day. If he waits to be impeached, he will be blocked. And nobody knows William Ruto can even now decide to arrest him because we know there were some corruption cases against the guard even before they formed Kenya Kwanzaa government. So he can be impeached and after that he can also be arrested. So Rigadi's best way out of this is just to resign before he's impeached. And the remarks by this Rigadi's ally are pointing towards that. I'm seeing Rigadi's team have now started looking at that possibility of Rigadi resigning. Rigadi's true friend should actually inform him and advise him that he should resign before being impeached. There is an elaborate strategy plan against him from all corners and he might not even survive. And if you look on how some senators are also talking, then it's clear the dice cast. They are just waiting with itching fingers for Rigadi to land at the Senate. Olekina dropped that bombshell a few days ago. Boni Alwali has also dropped a bombshell. Gloria Orobas dropped a bombshell. Though these are going to form the basis of our next analysis. So Rigadi has to be wise before he's impeached. If he's impeached, then that will be the end of him politically. If you also look at Rigadi Gashagwam, Rigadi is politically inexperienced. And that's why up to this moment, he's still talking of not resigning. A smart politician by now ought to have looked at the bigger picture. The bigger picture is that even if Rigadi pretends to be a brave man, a man who does not care, an image of somebody who cannot be sold to fear, that will not help him in the long run. The thing is, he will be impeached and he will be blocked from contesting for any seat. There is a saying that a coward hyena lives long because if it sees danger, it runs away. A foolish hyena will not be able to comprehend the magnitude of the danger facing it. So it will end up being consumed by that danger. Yes. Let me stop it there, ladies and gentlemen. If you are watching us but you have not yet subscribed, subscribe, give the video a like. Any person watching us outside Kenya for the first time, let us know from which part of the globe 
you are watching us from if possible subscribe give the video a like I'm seeing Rigathi resigning before Tuesday. But if he fails to resign, then that will also be up to him. He's got his own reasons for not resigning. Or maybe he's waiting to see how things will work out in the National Assembly. If maybe he's impeached in the National Assembly, for the impeachment to be concluded, then the Senate also has to take a vote. The Senate must have a say. Maybe Rigad is waiting to resign in between. After Parliament will have voted, he can resign in between. Maybe. Let's meet in our next analysis. Thank you.